couple of weeks ago I posted a photograph asking you what was missing and many of you spotted it was the caravan of course. Noel had to move it out of the way so that the diggers could get in to flatten the cow shed and remove it and also just to level the ground ready for the foundations to be laid in the new year. Also to get round the back to lay some well, to dig trenches so that drains could be uh, laid and also the ESB cable could go in. So here he is just moving the caravan, setting up his new home. All of this of course is footage that I'm uploading retrospectively alongside our sort of real-time experiences here in Cornwall. People have asked us to do that and it's really nice to keep in touch with you. Uh, so there will be little bits of island spliced between bits of uh, what's happening now in the house move. He's going to talk you through the polishing filter when we've got a little bit of time. It's just a little bit busy at the moment as you can imagine, we're in the middle of the house move. Once we've settled in we can return to that. I'm just sort of pointing out that the time sequence might seem a little bit disjointed, but please bear with us. Anyway, here are a few short videos Noel made before he left to fill us in on what's been happening in Ireland. Here we are, middle of October, and look, look at the weather. Absolutely glorious. Who would have thought? We had rain non-stop for two weeks now. Suddenly, beautiful. So, let's have a walk up through this top field. It's not often we get up here. It's uh, quite often wet. It's amazing how quickly it dries out. Up here, obviously, it's a bit reedy. We can have a good look round. Like I say, don't often get up here because there's so much work to be done down there. But today, I feel it's worth it, the sun shining. Roy is helping me. We've got piles here that are things that are going to charity, piles that I'm keeping, piles that are going to just be thrown out because they're not fit for more than rags. We've got, look at that. I just opened the loft hatch and just threw it all down. And then this room has been pretty much emptied. The bed's already gone up. So just a lot of sorting and clearing. Got some of these lovely sealable bags that you can actually suck all the air out and it just condenses the space that they use so hopefully we'll be in organized piles and get a little bit more tidy it will feel good once it's all sorted look what i just found when i was sorting through stuff this roy is daddy's t-shirt or the remains of it shut that window for the traffic noise the remains of it it was all t-shirt to begin with and it's what he ripped when he came to find you when you were lost in the woods do you remember that do you remember that Roy we remember it goodness imagine if you were still there we didn't find you you won't be sitting sunbathing now enjoying that lovely warm sunshine so, I don't know what it was. <laughs> anyway, 
we kept it, I think, for sentimental reasons. But that that was the look. Can you see? We put that round here and tied it on and uh, led you back home. But it's going to go. It's pretty pretty grim, and uh, we can just put that memory behind us, maybe. <laughs> what do you say? Things I may need to check with my daughter about is this fake fur coat. Too small for me, but it's probably just a little bit too nice to go in the charity shop bag without checking first. Yeah, so that will be staying for now anyway. carpet fitter has arrived at the other house so while uh, I'm just making him a coffee here I wanted to just show you this wooden cabinet let me just show you that down there we go this was an old schoolhouse cabinet it's an antique it would have been I think it's mostly empty now let me just see we've been just clearing things out it's got some things in there but it would have been used for like school books and um Noel was telling me that he did use this varnish that was a wax varnish on here and it is such a lovely kind of buttery gentle sheen that it has like a lovely patina that I really like because Noel is keen to put some kind of finish on the um, kitchen cabinets that we've been doing he doesn't want to just leave them without a sealant so he's persuaded me that using the wax varnish will give a really nice finish and if it's like this, it will be really nice. Coffee time. I'm out of breath because I've just walked up quickly with a coffee for the carpet. Well, you're an angel, darling. I know. Your little, your little <laughs> mercy run of coffee. I know, but I was, when I came in, I thought I'd missed you doing the um, varnish because it looks it's like it's got a bit of a sheen on it. But I, And I thought it looked a bit darker as well. But actually, I think that's because you said it sort of matures as you leave it. It does it. a little bit. It might be a little bit of light as well. Yeah, it might be artificial. But I see. Yeah, it does look. It does change how it looks. It's, it's better. Changing, isn't yeah, it? without it, it's uh, it's a bit different. So we can do that today. Do the varnish on there, yeah. the wax varnish. I was explaining that it's not a sort of shiny, glossy varnish, and uh, yeah, and then that should be quite good. Should yeah, I come and see what you've done? How you've been doing this? Yeah, but I've only put the other two out and put the shelves in. Yeah, you have. You put those two shelves on, that's yeah, right. Yeah, but I haven't put the boards for the top of the shelves. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then that's for the um, the dishwasher. Tumble dryer. Tumble dryer. Sorry, it's not on a wonk. It's because I'm holding. <laughs> you are the I realised when I watched it back yesterday, it's, it's me that's wonky. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So what Do is it? the edges first. Yeah. You won't get pulling in the corners. Just go all the way around. Yeah. And then you can do the towel. And well, let's have a look. What is that that we're using? It's... What's it called? It's just some like... Polyvine. Right. Wax finish. Varnish. varnish. Okay. And it's acrylic, so it's really fast drying. So you won't have to wait around for... Oh, it's dry. Okay. And you don't need it, you can pretty much do it with a nearly dry brush really. You don't need roads on the brush. Yeah.
Oh. It will go through at an angle. Yes. And I'm just wondering whether I'll be able to bring it forward, tilt it down over the other shelf and push it back. Because this thing's yeah. so far out of square. Yeah, I, I see. Just trim a bit off the side, please. Nearly there. No. That's because of the wonky walls, isn't it? That's it. In it goes. Yeah. Well done. You got there eventually. We'll be all right because we've got essential supplies. And I'm going to go in with a dip. That's dirty. No, not, not a dipper. Donker, whatever you want to say. So who's right? You see, the lovely thing is the chocolate melts, but you've got to just lift it out just in time before it starts to, you know, collapse. <laughs> what do you say? It's Are you lot, to it? dunk or not to dunk? Let's have a vote on it. Mm -hmm.